bow, chicka bow, 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 chicka bow, wow. Hey, uh, Ryan, you looking for a good time? Let's come and hang out over here in the red light district. <laughs> Alright, guys, welcome back to, uh, the creepiest introduction to RimWorld ever. Um, that's exactly what this is. So this is, uh, the red light district of, uh, Gotham's Revenge, unfortunately, or Gotham's Reckoning. I'm not even sure what sort of perverse, uh, methods go on over here, but soon enough, uh, some of these guys are gonna be living there. I think it's the recruits, by the way, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be their homestead and also by the way let me start off by saying that Alberto del Rio has been renamed over to um who is it Ooh, who did I rename him to Punisher Punisher is gonna be now Alberto del Rio which is kind of really crazy because he got he went from an artist to apparently a sociopath well not a really sociopath I mean Punisher is kind of not really a sociopath I mean he, he kills a lot of people but he kills bad people he's kind of like Dexter essentially where he's just killing people it's because they're bad, you know, they're, they're bad people. So it's kind of in a sense, he's a serial killer, but he's a serial killer with morals, I guess. You could kind of pull that way. <laughs> Either way, though, um, we have a raid that's about to come down right over here. Not really like I'm, something I'm too worried about. I'm not over here like, oh, shit, man, raid's about to come down, we're fucked. It's only seven guys. However, we haven't checked out their weapons. Uh, M24. M4A1, new weapon. A last gun? Okay, that's kind of terrifying. That's a laser gun, and I'm not entirely sure how those work yet, so uh, I guess we're going to find out firsthand when that person destroys our people. A cult police positive. Ooh, that's pretty awesome. Alrighty, so good weapons about to come in. Uh, Gino, what are you doing out here, man? Gino, what are you... Oh, you're going to start cutting right now. Gino, it's not really the time, man. We have this uh, raid about to come down. You're going to have to stop, man. I'm sorry. You have to go inside and... Forget about what you're trying to do. I, I know you're trying to do something really helpful for the colony and get us some food and, you know, whatnot. But, unfortunately, the raid's about to come down, as it just happened right now. And there's a farming vessel in the, in the midst, too, which is good, because I could buy some food, since I'm really low on food. But, that's going to have to wait, because we have this raid about to come down. So, Gino, let me unmilitarize you. Let me zoom out of here and get everybody militarized, and everybody rush it over to the front. Obviously, we want to switch this over to Stonewall next time around. I, I'm going to see if I can do this this episode for sure. But um, for now, let's let me just set everybody up over here. Punisher, Punisher, Punisher. I don't think... Uh, you got a weapon. You do have a weapon. Um, Not a good weapon, but a weapon nonetheless. But you're not a great shooter just yet, so it's something we have to work on for you. A uh, Guinea uh, M16 guy. Definitely needs to be uh through here, I'd imagine. I had a bolt. Settler, you get your ass right about through there. Uh... Guinea already set him up. Oh man, we have so many goddamn people. These raiders are kind of like supremely unmatched, man. Funky, let me just have you hook up right. I don't even think it even matters where I set these guys up, quite honestly. Uh, famous last words, probably. Those laser guns are gonna pretty much wreck my ass for all you know. So <laughs> I'm over here just like, oh yeah, we got this, man. We're we're good. We're perfectly fine. And next thing you know, it pretty much ends really horrifically for us right now. Uh, you go over there, Batman. Let me have you hook up right there, man. And let's see, what else can we do? Well, we have these guys just kind of hanging about with nothing else to do. So, uh, Jeff. Oh, uh, Jeff needs to be up front, though. So, Ryan, let me have you move out of the way for now, because Jeff needs to get up front with that shotgun, or Babo, Punisher, okay. Um, you guys are going to be kind of, um... I'm going to use you guys as my flank people, so let me, if I can, have you come in through. And you'll be kind of like our surprise motherfucker people, essentially. Uh, these guys are going to try to set fire to the doors, but that's fine. Or not the doors, like Jim Morrison in the doors. Uh, this is all you would be, baby. Uh, or, I think that was the doors, I'm not entirely sure. That was a really terrible uh, impersonation, by the way, but... So let me have you guys just hang out over here. Let me have you do some, like, crazy flocking position, like you go over here. Like, you know, Delta, Alpha 1, cover me. Going in. Clear out the room. So now they're inside. Uh, let me put this in real time, then. And my guy's going to do a lot of work. Um, now, we definitely want to catch people, right? Oh, an assassin, you know what? Who's been wanting an assassin? Black Friday, the dragon, the 13, double dragon, black eyes, blue eyes, white dragon. He wanted an assassin, so hopefully we can catch him for him. Um, this guy's got a crazy weapon, though, so... We might want to be careful with this assassin, by the way. So, ADD, if you can, start firing at this dude, along with either bolt. Uh, whoever has the laser gun is what's kind of scaring me, which is this guy. Thankfully, we are kind of, uh... I guess, uh, targeting him for sure. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Nick's gonna just post up right about there. Nick is gonna pretty much die, apparently. Yeah, Nick's gonna die. Alright, he is dead. But he's gonna drop a new weapon for us. So three people are already dead. There's one still kind of roaming outside. Rhodes the chef. And there's two people kind of hanging out outside. And then these two people are just kind of posting up right about there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have them... 
hopefully get a little bit weakened. And if I can, then I'll start having my guys just go and swarm them. Okay, one of the walls did get jacked up, so that's going to help us out a bit. Alright, guys. So, keep doing your thing. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have these guys just start to uh, go up and about and start doing the little flanking thing I wanted to do. Alrighty, what do we have here? 72 and 100. Okay. And let me also have uh, ADD98 go in here as well. So hopefully... Oh, don't don't shoot at my guys coming at you. Worry about this over here, Catrell. Cantrell, whatever your name might be. Alrighty, so let's uh, move up a bit more. Along with uh, this guy as well. Alrighty, we stunned this dude. So 66 and... Alright, so they're at 60s now. So that's actually pretty good. Edward the Genesis is still out there though, and so is Rhodes. So here is what I want to do then, is let me send, I would say, these guys here. And then, you guys stop shooting and go inside for now. And we're just going to do like a full on, oh shit, ADD just took a shot to the head and almost died. Uh, ADD, run away. Uh, this Cantrell guy is going to be a total asshole apparently. Alrighty, so Punisher, go and uh, start doing some melee. And take Ryan with you. And then Herb, you go and work on this motherfucker over here. Ida Bolt, you go and give us a hand as well. Alright, here we go. Alright. Sorry, melee about. ADD, yeah, you got hurt, so you need to go over here, honestly. And Gino, you go and give me a hand right about over through here. And Key, you go and give me a hand with this uh, genetist over here. And Ricky, if you can, let me give you a hand. Get a hand with the chef over here. Alright, how are we doing? 23? 56, and how are we doing? Uh, not that bad. We could be doing better, but not that bad still. Alrighty, so let's keep an eye out. Alright, so we did get another knockout. Oh, not a knockout, but we killed somebody, unfortunately. Key, can you actually catch up to this motherfucker before he books it? It's a real question. Guys, don't shoot up close. You're gonna hurt each other. Uh, Ricky, start, um, attacking Rhodes the Chef, along with Punisher, I guess, and then whoever else is here. Let me just have you move away, because there's a lot of people here. Ryan, Ryan, you give me a hand. And then you guys, uh, might as well just unmilitarize you guys. And Key, can you actually catch up to this person is the real question? I probably don't think you can, so let me just have you, as a matter of fact, just start shooting. Maybe you'll get lucky? Alright, you got a shot in for sure. Alrighty, Rhodes, are you gonna go down? Are you gonna go down, motherfucker? And Key, uh, Key. Ah, good try, Key, I guess. Run along now. And Rhodes, uh, Rhodes is going to go down apparently. He's just, he's having none of this capture business. That's a shame. Alrighty. So let me go and, uh, well. Have you run off. Have you run off. And you're already running off. Alrighty. And then all the guys over here, guys. Good job. Really good raid. Alright, so that worked out pretty good. Of course, that was a small raid. Um, obviously, now we should expect probably, what is it, three more raids at least? So, uh, or two more raids because they usually come in swarms of three, so... That's the first one, and for that one, it went pretty well. The best thing about that came out of this, though, was the fact that we now got a few extra cool guns for our troubles, I guess. So that's going to help us out quite a bit because we have a lot of people with Glock 9s, which is, you know, pretty shitty. So that's going to help us out quite a bit, indeed. Um, and again, we should probably start considering uh, moving into uh, switching this over to stone walls. Our food is still kind of low, though, so let's not forget about the priority here. As much as I'd like to actually get... Um, Swag, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, you're just eating a meal. Swag, don't don't eat the meal, man. Just like you know, try to put it in the stockpile area, which I turned off. <laughs> okay, so body's gonna be starting moved, which is good. And let's see. Alrighty, so we still need to switch this over to stone wall. Can do we have enough stone wall or at least stone to actually placate this? Let me see if I. Uh, this would require. Yeah, we have enough. Uh, it's it's gonna cost a lot, but we do have enough for it, so. I guess we might as well just use it to our advantage. So if that's going to be the case, then um, we might as well handle with deconstruction all through here. I don't think I could put the stone wall over it, right? Or can I? Nope, I can't. So I do have to deconstruct this for sure. So let's just deconstruct this really quickly. And then we'll do the stone wall in its place. Alrighty, so let's just do that. Excellent. Good job, Herb. And we are losing frames because of all the <laughs> little middle tiles on the floor, but that's fine. Just a momentary setback. Okay, so weapons, weapons, weapons. We do have weapons now, and let's see. Who needs better weapons is the real question. Well, we have to go by stats, obviously. Shooting four for Gino, you could kind of forego right there. 
And let's see, what about you? Shooting four with Funky. What about ADD? Shooting? All right, so you already have a good weapon, though, so let's not worry about that. Mangina, how are you doing here? Shooting four? Okay. Eh. Guinea, what about you? You already have a good weapon, so forget that. Krebs? Krebs, Krebs. You have a good weapon as well, so let's forget about that. Batman, M24. I'm not too crazy about that, quite honestly. So let's check out... A laser gun? Yes! Get the laser gun, man! Go ahead, Batman. You deserve a laser gun. I guess it kind of works out better, too. I'd rather have Batman shooting lasers than bullets, you know? Ryan, how is your shooting ability here, my friend? Oh, really goddamn terrible. So forget that. I had a bolt. What about you? Shooting four. Okay. So, uh, obviously, we have our, we have to train our guys in shooting. I'll set up the dummies uh, for target practice later on, but um, at the moment, I guess food is the really big priority. So, uh, swag is actually a decent shot. So let me get swag hooked up with a... Uh, fucking M4A1, I guess. Whatever that might be. Sounds pretty impressive, though. And Ricky's actually a good shot as well. So, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, Rick. Uh, Ricky Ricardo. What can I hook you up with, man? Um, uh, pa, pa, pa. I guess let's get, hook you up with one of these uh, M24s. Yeah, I guess. I'm not really the biggest fan of the M24 anymore, but that's fine. What happened here? Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, shit. I forgot about the no roofs area. <laughs> oh god. Thank god nobody died. I, I don't think anybody died, right? <laughs> Alright guys, um let's hold off what you guys are doing right now. Uh cancel this, please. Cancel this. I forgot about the roofed area. God damn it. Thankfully nobody got hurt. That would have been really bad. Alrighty, so um stone walls through there. And stone walls through here. Wow, that was actually quite terrifying. It's the thing, man. I'm too wild sometimes. I just, like, make really stupid decisions without actually thinking ahead what's, what's going on over here. Ah, look at all this debris. The good thing about the debris is at least you could have turned it into metal, so... Uh, it's not as bad as it used to be before, where it was kind of like, Oh, now I have all this debris in the way. It's kind of really annoying. Uh, we did lose metal doing this, but whatever, man. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, if you want to make an omelet, you do have to break a few eggs, so that's kind of the unfortunate repercussion of it, so... Deconstruct this now, deconstruct that. Alrighty, good, good, good. Build away. Build away, minions. Uh, food is still pretty low, but we do actually have meat to kind of keep us alive as well, so... Ha <laughs> Ah, that's what she said. Uh, so let's actually cancel this over here. And we'll put up a door in its place. Alrighty. Ah, a lot of debris now. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. We'll, we'll deal with it, man. We'll deal with it. There's a lot of metal to collect around, too, so that's going to actually increase our metal supply a bit as well, so I'm not too concerned about that. Alrighty, guys, so you guys are sleeping over here on the floor, right? You guys don't have to do that anymore, because I do have some crazy rooms for you. So, really quickly, let's actually set up the other last uh, standing lamp right here for this guy. And, uh, let's call it a... That has a power counter running through it, correct? Am I correct on that assumption? It totally am, alrighty. So, um, let's actually go ahead and uh, give you guys a bed up there. So yeah, wake up. Go take your new beds. Trade ship is- oh, slave trader! Oh yes, bitch, alrighty. So, um, the slave traders better deal with weapons, I imagine they would. So Ryan, if you could actually go and do some communications for us really quickly. Hopefully the farm- oh, the farming vessel's still here. Maybe we could get some food off of this motherfucker, because, you know, I'm really in desperate need of food. Uh, they don't deal with weapons. So how about really quickly, Ryan, no, run off just yet. Let's see if we could first and foremost, uh, sell some weapons. Um, like the Glock 19s. So we don't need that. I'll keep the frag grenades just in case. Uh, we don't need that, though. Don't need that. You know, honestly, uh, most of the weapons we weren't, we're not going to need just because we'll be able to get... I mean, you know what happens, right? The raids start happening, you start stockpiling all these weapons, and next thing you know, they're just kind of overtaking your whole entire map. So, I guess it's not in our... We could pretty much sell off a lot of these, honestly. And let's see. Who do they have? They have three people that we could buy. Um, is it more important than food, though, is the real question, and I want to say it is not. Um, Storyteller. Let's check out who they have, first and foremost. So Ryu, from Street Fighter over here, uh, ba -ba. incapable of cooking or mining. Okay, I guess I could do with this. Social 9, Research 5. Uh, not really the best guy out there. Not really the best guy out there. Uh, space Technician, Weedle, sounds pretty good. Uh, construction 8, that's good. Research 4, Mining 5, Shooting 5, Melee 6. This is actually not bad. Incapable of plant work or artistry, but that's fine. I, I won't have you do that, and you'll be good. Medieval Knight, Melee 14, Shooting 8, 
cooking, cleaning, and capable of cooking, cleaning, and plant work. But you could do other stuff, right? Yeah, you could do some... Alright, so let me go ahead and... Oh, God, it's going to be all over money, isn't it? Let me buy the Medieval Knight. And let me buy... Weedles. Oh, that's all over money. Okay, never mind buying food. <laughs> I guess I could sell some, uh... I could sell these guys some, uh... What is it? I could sell them some, uh, metal. Uh, I would only get, what? What's the return rate? One? Fuck that, man. Alright, Ryan, before you do anything else, let me just have you really quickly deal with the farming vessel. I could sell them good metal, right? Like two, four, yeah, okay, that's not too bad. So, let me sell these guys a bit of metal. Since metal, we could get it a lot easier now. I'm really worried about our food right now, so... Let me sell them like a hundred... Or, let's do... 210 metal. And then we'll buy food. With that. Okay, 180... I'm going to give him four now. Uh, let me take one away then. There you go. Trade. Excellent. Now our food kind of fell over. I don't have a beacon, do I? I am an imbecile. <laughs> let me just quickly build a beacon, I guess. Drop beacon. Could just kind of fall like right about through there right again. Alrighty. There you go. And let's check out our new people, man. Alrighty. We got Weedles and Will. Alrighty, so I said Will was incapable of a few things, right? But he's a good fighter. He's a knight. So let me hook you up, sir, with this uh, M24, I guess. And let's see. And who is the other guy? Weedles, Weedles, Weedles. Where is Weedles? Weedies, the breakfast of champions. Let me hook you up with this Glock 19, I guess. The remaining weapon that we have here. Okay. And now let's give them some actual technicians here. So firefighting is always a priority for all these guys. Uh, what well, these guys can cook. Cooking, zero. Okay, so don't worry about that. Uh, but, but, constructing, always a one, because whenever I want something to build, I need to build soon enough. Growing, uh, I could probably placate that soon enough. Uh, growing, uh, but, but, mining, I said one of these guys was a good miner, one of them wasn't. Crafting, hauling, okay, so let's do a little bit of hauling for Will. Some cleaning for Weedos, uh, hauling through right there. Mining, two out of ten, one out of ten. So let me just have you focus if you want, like on some growing, and you could do, I guess some mining would be your main priority afterwards. Or like a hauling too, and mining too. E -e. Hauling one, I guess. And mining two. Alrighty. That'll work out, and give you a three over here, actually. Alright, that's, that's good. Everybody else is set up, though? Good? Alright, they do need beds, though, so, uh, do I have an extra room? I think I have an extra room for one of them. But not for the others, so let me just quickly set up a sleeping spot right there, and no, I need two. Alrighty, and how is our research project? Uh, Ryan, are you going to ever finish this last research, bro? I really need that done as soon as possible, man. I want to expand that area into more uh, plantations, essentially. Alrighty, and uh, let's not leave this open right here. Stone wall right there, and stone wall right about through there. Okay, bodies moved out of the way. Excellent, alright, so our outside stone wall is set up now. Good, that's going to give us a little bit more protection now. And let's see, big ass rain going on. Bodies I need to get get rid of. So, how about we start focusing on these bodies? Let's see how this works out. Uh, cremation table is, uh, cremation chamber is going to be right here, right? So let's turn this around. And um, I guess we could just put it right there at the entrance, no big deal. And we'll try it out, we'll see how this works out. Who's gonna build this for me? Who's gonna be the, <laughs> in a really morbid sense, the, uh, uh, never mind. I'm not even gonna go there with that joke. It's kind of really iffy. <laughs> I really don't feel comfortable talking about it, so I'm not gonna go there. Um, all of this is getting proper lighting, though, so as soon as we get our growers back and running here, we'll be, get that set up right here. Stonewall outside, good. This never got cut, unfortunately, but no big deal. Those bodies, I'll have them burned up soon enough. And food is now being cooked over here, which is really amazing. What is going on with our food situation, though? Have I not set up, like, a, a bill? I thought I had. Configure, uh... Yeah, man, I don't understand what the problem is over here. Well, I mean, they are actually making food. It's just that this isn't being moved into this for some reason. Uh... Hey, okay, let me... Make this important, I guess, again. I mean, they're just not hauling that over there for some reason. 
Uh, Swag has built, or not Swag, but Swag's always moving and finding meals around, it seems. And Herbabe. Alright, so we do definitely need two more rooms now for the two new guys that we got. So I'll build that soon enough. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Get the growing back up and running. Excellent. Light up. Good light up situation. Somebody built this uh, cremation chamber. It's like a kind of... Uh... There you go. Thank you, Weedles. Weedle the Kakuna. Alrighty, so let's see how this works. Bills. Cremate bodies. Alrighty. And let's configure this. Uh, how does this work then? Uh, non muffalo corpses. We just need it for... I guess human and mechanoid corpses, and let's, uh, the radius is going to be up to, like, 999, so they get the ones that are outside, right? And we'll repeat this until there is, uh, bodies to get rid of. Okay. And I guess, uh, how would this work? I'm not sure how this works. Well, let's see, uh, Weedles is running over here to grab a body, it seems? Is he going to do it? Weedles are going to do it. Alright, and digging is finally done. Oh, pumping now? God damn it. All right, never mind, Ryan. You're still on deck. Oh, and he just puts it in the chamber and it just disappears. Uh, honestly, it seems that it's probably easier to just kind of toss some Molotov cocktails in there. Raiders in line nearby. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, five, nine of them. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad indeed. Yeah, it seems, honestly, that's a lot easier to just kind of uh, set up a, I guess, like a, your own... I guess burning or incineration room is kind of handle it that way because this doesn't seem that it's like one by one. It's like damn, it's gonna take forever. Yeah, it's gonna take forever. Not really the greatest, honestly. The uh, best, uh, I guess, uh, time per se. Like I had, heck, if you could do like a lot of them at once, good. But otherwise, I might as well just build my own incinerator room. It seems kind of pointless. I might just actually build the incinerator room right about through here, as a matter of fact. So it was a good thought, but not really too crazy about it. So, there you go. Somebody to construct that. I have no interest for it. I'll just actually build a room in through here, and then we'll just kind of deal with that. But how about this, guys? How about we ended up with the episode here today? Uh, we did get a few... Or did we get more people? Mm, yes, we got two more people that I have to rename after this episode, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to go rename them and probably record a few more episodes for today. And we do have that raid about to come down on us right here as well. But either way, our food is kind of okay now. Not great. We, we're kind of, like, doing mediocre in terms of our supplies. But at the same time... um. We're actually experimenting with a lot of cool stuff, and soon enough we'll be able to kind of get our supply back up and running. I do want to set up some turrets next episode, just to kind of play around with those as well, but we'll see. Either way, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, I encourage you to click that thumbs up button. Support really does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.